Hey Simonix, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. Back with a video we had in the past about cropping images with Ionic. So the package we used in the past is kinda outdated, not really working with Angular 8, so let's do a new version. We're gonna use another ngx cropping package, um, still using cropper.js in the background to resize our image, to take different elements of the image and to flip it and rotate it and everything. So let's do this. I've already started the app to make the quick win really quick and oops, what I did so far is I installed the ngx image cropper. Um, actually, I should also perhaps show it to you, but in general, um, you don't need the following two lines. These are just to capture an image uh, and then uh, also make it work on a device. So here's the ngx image cropper, 300 stars, um, solid package. Um, not everything of it is super updated, also a few issues open, but in general, this is the view we aim for. So let's do this. Um, this is my blank app. This is the NPM install and this is the Ionic camera. So if you want to use the camera, I will show you also a way to use a local file just for testing. But if you go using the camera, make sure that you add the import for the camera. Um, yeah, nice. Actually, the auto import comes up right here from ngx and then add it to the array of providers in your app module. This is step one. Um, to use the camera on a device on iOS, you also need to go to your config XML file and append these lines. So either using the camera or the photo library, this will set the um, peer list entry because otherwise you will get problems once you submit your app. Okay, with that in place, we can close the config, we can close the app module and we can move to the home module because we're gonna have to import the uh, actual image cropper module. So the, this import goes always to the module file of the page where you want to use it. Right now we're just using the home page, so it goes right here and also to the array of our imports like this. And now we can really dive into the actual uh, cropping fun, I would say. So perhaps we start by um, implementing something that I actually copied somewhere online um, because I was not sure actually how to um, use a local file as a base64 string because that is required for the uh, cropper package. Turns out this snippet works. For all the members of the Ionic Academy, you can also find the source code linked right below the video. Basically, it will just create an observable, load the local file and return it as a data URL. So nothing really fancy in here. And we will save all of this in a variable that we call my image. So let's make this one null right in the beginning. And let's also add a little button in our content. Ion button, expand full, click capture image. Um, so this button on a device, perhaps you want to capture a real image. And just for now, I want to show you that the image is actually loaded. So I'll put in the image right here. So now in our preview, we should be able to load this local asset file. There we go. Cool picture of me. Actually, uh, you can see that I added it to my assets. If you close the app in the assets folder, I added this image just to have something to test because otherwise we wouldn't see any result in this tutorial just until the end when we deploy it. And I found that to be, um, yeah, not so cool. So let's put in the real fun of this example, which is the image cropper. And I will just bring in the element uh, and then we can talk about the different elements in here. So uh, yeah, thanks Dropbox, ignore. Um, there are a lot of uh, values, functionalities that you can set on the image cropper. The main one in our case is the image base 64, which we set to our own image. If you want to use it in a different way, do I still got it open somewhere? Of course not. Um, the example on the ngx cropper page also uses a file input. So if you anyway use it on the browser, you can also use that file input. Just check out the page of the plugin. 
otherwise um, we can also simply set the base 64 and then everything else is kind of optional I would say so uh, we want to maintain the aspect ratio um, this is the cropping area we will see you can specify the format um, the output type and actually this one's interesting because this is a function that will be called once the image was cropped so let's of course implement the image cropped functionality uh, let's put it right here and let's leave capture image like it is um, perhaps I will also show you the the other way for a device which would look like this this is just the standard stuff we do with a camera so you have to inject it as always to the constructor camera make sure that the auto import is added um, or do it manually if your IDE is not supporting it and then we can construct a camera options object using different inputs um, most important part is to use the data URL here as the destination type because that's exactly what we want and then simply call get picture on the camera and set my image so this would be the code we would use on a real device and if you use camera options also make sure to import it I don't want to leave anyone hanging with a problem so this would be the code for real device for now we will stick to capture image uh, with our local file but it's basically really the same so when the image is cropped um, let's set another variable that we call cropped image oh so creative today Simon um, but anyhow we can use the event and if you want to get some nice code completion we know that the image cropped event is actually an image cropped event yeah that was the wrong image cropped event um, yeah auto import looks fine there we go so now we could actually dive into this package uh, and see it returns a base 64 a file with hate whatever you need um, that you could use to your advantage of course we just want to have the base 64 value of the cropped image so we will simply display another card and get rid of this because you can now trust me um, that the image is shown and I think I got a live snippet yes I got it uh, actually we don't need this awesome title yeah cropped image and then for the card content we will now use the image and the cropped image uh, we can close this and we only want to display this card if we actually got a cropped image okay so far so good let's save this and what happens now is we can capture an image and we see the cropped image or the actual cropper view I would say so that's the default you see that whenever I change the size um, the aspect ratio of this uh, box stays the same basically because we defined it and you can already see that we got some nice cropping immediately going on here but actually yeah it's always happening so if we change the size we see it's cropped um, right now there's actually no zoom so this is kind of zoomed in I would say but on the package or at the time of writing this I did not find any function to zoom so there was an open pull request but there were still issues perhaps when you watch this video and use it there is a way to zoom in but in order to use this we anyway need an access uh, to this cropper element so we can also call different functionalities right from code and to do so uh, we can use the angular view child which will give us access to the DOM element so use view child with the image cropper component uh, yeah import edit and since we're using angular 8 we have to always specify static false or true if you want to use it and then let's call this uh, I think I still call this angular cropper like in the last example and it's of course of the type image cropper component so now we got access to the angular cropper right from code and to save some typing I will bring in uh, different functionalities they are just one line so that's nothing really fancy 
So uh, image cropped. Oh, actually we have implemented this already, right? So let's replace this. I'm sorry for the scrolling. So here we start. We want to have a clear. So to clear everything, that will basically set the image to null and also the input and output to null. I think we actually don't need this if we reset the image, but well, let's keep it. Um, also, I did not find a way to reset the cropping. So let's say we have done it like this and rotated and did some things. There is actually right now no way to reset it. That somehow only seemed to work with the file input connected to the cropper. Um, but yeah, I think we can live with this as well. Not really a super mandatory thing. But we can clear it. Uh, we can manually save it calling crop. But right now there's actually, uh, I think it's called automatic crop. Uh, I have to look this up and again. NGX cropper. Where are you? NGX cropper. This. Uh, come on. Well, well, uh, not super good prepared today, Simon. Let's keep it like this. So there is a um, property on the very on the cropper that you can set to um, skip this automatic update. Then you would always have to manually click on a button to actually perform the cropping that's happening right now automatically. So image cropped, we already used this. Rotate left, basically rotates the canvas left. Rotate right flip flip so these are the functions that we can call actually if you dive into the package you can also uh, see all of them the private ones are the ones you are not going to call but everything else could be called so here are the four we used we can use image um, move image start move i'm not completely sure here's the crop one we use and that's already it um, so to move the uh, area Actually, let's try to also use the move. Where was the functionality? Move stop, move image, event any, uh, move type position. Um, yeah, might work if you pass in uh, some specific object, but what works as well is directly accessing the cropper in the package. So this is the cropper position. And of course, X1 should be uh, basically the top um, X x2 um uh actually i'm super dumb right now with the math but basically it shifts it to the right or to the bottom at the x axis or the y axis so that's what we kind of do with move and to test out all the things uh that we just wrote in here we can use some code just a really 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 stupid code that I will put in here. These are just a bunch of rows and columns to call all the rotate left, rotate right, flip horizontal, flip vertical, and then to move the um, canvas a bit around, calling it with different parameters. So 10 up or 10 down, 10 to the left or 10 to the right. And for all of them, I just used a few icons to show in which direction we would move. So let's see, the interesting part here is really that we can access the cropper from code and then perform different things like flipping it to the left, flipping it to the left, flipping it to the left and again, or flipping it to the right. And then if we want to move the box from code, we could now do this in steps of 10. So to the right, to the left and back up. And you see right now the cropping is not happening automatically if we just set the coordinates. So uh, let's also add two more buttons to the top. So let's go to the header area and add the ion buttons to call clear and save. And then we can see that even if we are just uh, using the coordinates now to move the box to my face, it is not updated yet, but if we call save, the cropping is applied and the new uh, image is immediately uh, pushed to the variable. So flip. I kind of enjoy uh, tools like these that just work and perform some really powerful tools. So there we go. And if you're unhappy with whatever you got, you can simply get rid of everything again. 
That's it for today's quick win. I hope you enjoyed the um, kind of really quick win on Cropper.js. You can also use Cropper.js directly, but then you don't have all the TypeScript stuff that is built uh, around with the ngx package. If you're also looking for the Zoom, just check out the package um, and also the article below this video. If you're not yet a member of the Ionic Academy, you should definitely consider it, uh, given the fact that we have more than 40 courses already and a really active community at this point. So I would love to see you inside the Academy. Make sure to subscribe for more Ionic videos. Have a great day and take care.